So today we're talking about a material test array or a test grid, why you might want to make one for your laser and how to do that using Xtool Creative Space. All right, so you just got your laser and maybe you have one like this. This is the X-Tool P2 and you are starting to work with materials. And you've probably heard people talk about you should run a test grid or you should do a test array first. So we're just gonna walk through really basic what that is, why you need it, and how to do that using XCS or X-Tool Creative Space. This is a test array that I created for this Xtool P2S as soon as I got it. So what this grid tells me is I put a piece of basswood in the machine and this is actually four different grids here. I have on one side I have speed and on the bottom I have power. And each of these little squares in between is a different combination of speed and power. So I'm able to look at this grid once it's done and see exactly what setting I should choose for all my subsequent projects using three millimeter basswood. You can run it with a engrave, you can run it with cutting. So same results with cutting, I'm able to see how low of a power and how fast of a speed will get it to cut without leaving char or right ragged edges. So these are really, really good to have. I keep this right next to my P2S so I can reference it for all my projects. This is a really, really easy thing to do in Xtool Creative Space. So let's go to the software and I'll show you how to make these. I'm going to create a new project. You can create a material test array in any version of the Xtool Creative Space software. This particular version is 2.2.1, which at the time of the making of this video is a fairly new version of the software. But again, you can do this in any version. So the first thing I wanna do is create a rectangle. You can actually do this with any shape. I've done this with hearts before just to have fun, um, but a rectangle is nice and easy. So depending on the type of test array I want, I can either choose to engrave this or cut it. And we're gonna do an engrave test just to see the gradient of engraving. So all I need to do is create that shape and click engrave. Now I'm gonna come down to this little box of applications here and I am gonna click on material test array. Your rectangle has to be highlighted and then you can click test array. And you can see over here to my left that that array was already created, but I need to tell it now what settings to use. When I'm engraving, I know the power does not need to go up to 100. We're just gonna have the power go up to 25, and we're gonna start at five. And for the speed, we can go up fairly high, but we don't need to go to 600. So let's do 400 and a minimum of 150. And five columns, five rows is fine for me. However, if you wanted to get more detail in a higher gradient, I could create more columns and more rows. You can also adjust the spacing here. And then I click done. Once that's done, we don't wanna to touch, let me just close this. You don't wanna to touch anything from here. So if I click on this, it's all grouped together. We are not gonna change any settings. We are not gonna do anything. Xtool Creative Space have, has already done that for us. So now let's get this machine connected and we will get this going. So I've just got a small piece of basswood in my machine and I am going to move the test array over and size it appropriately. So just a couple things to note here. I do not need to define a material because all of the settings are already set for me in here based on what I know will engrave on basswood. If you want to, you can go up here and you can select three millimeter basswood or whatever you're using, um, but you're still gonna use that same process to create your engraved settings for the test array. This will work on any X-Tool machine, whether you have an S series, an M series, a D series, F, whatever you have, this process will work. And whatever version of software you have, this will work. The only other thing I need to do is auto measure. 
This would be the process if you are using, uh, let's say, the S1 or the D1 that has a two-point positioning system. You do want to create the area that you're making this in, and you will want to auto-measure your material as well. So with that all set, we can go ahead and process. There is the material test array that we just created. So this is a great little grid to keep on hand for any of this wood that I'm going to use. It tells us power on the bottom, speed on the side, and then on the top, it tells you exactly what you made. So I know that I can keep this separate from my F1, and I know that this is my P2S test grid that I can reference. So I hope this helped you figure out how and why you might want to run a test grid. I hope you go into XCS and try your own. If you have any further questions on this, let me know down in the comments. And if you find these laser videos helpful, consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.